Uh, in this case, it's showing the kind of the, the, the rain, main screen, uh, outside temperature, your AC is on, what it's set at. Um, this tells you the information about how you've kind of programmed your house. This one shows you um, how much, well it has just booted up so it doesn't have any data yet, but it will tell you how much per day you're consuming, uh, and how much gas per day, how much water consumption per day you're using. I think you can actually pick one of these and it shows you what's been your daily history. Uh, it tells you a little graph, like your most, uh, what's consuming most, like here's the dishwasher's consuming the most per day. Um, you can go and these are all the devices in your home, they're, they're automatically detected. The, the system architecture here would be you have devices like this, which is a Zigbee power plug. It measures the power, uh, can switch this plug on and off and communicates over Zigbee. Um, we would also, uh, we're seeing the appliance manufacturers like washing machine, dryer, dishwashers integrate that Zigbee protocol into their device so that they can be auto detected. The key here is making this very simple so the customers don't have to think about it. So this is an example of an application. If you have solar electric collection in your house, it tells you exactly how much power you're generating, the value of that per month, and so you can keep track of how much you're generating and putting on the grid. Um, there's a you know video memo so that uh, so you can actually have a video clip and uh, tell you leave quick messages for your family. But the goal is to have this become a panel that's used all the time. And one of my favorite features of this is in my house um, when I leave, there are certain things that I don't have any reason to have power going to. For example, my television. I don't need any power on my television when I leave the house. This design has a switch that you flip. When when you leave the house, it says goodbye. So you flip the switch. Now it, it's connected automatically to all these things in my home and it turns all of them off when I leave the house when I'm not going to be there. Uh, it also, like down here, it's reminding me that, you know, gee, I left the stove on. Uh, it's telling me, do you really want to leave the stove on? Do you want to turn it, maybe I want to turn it on after the power's cheaper. 